Hi everyone, Tech Fairy here. Today I'm going to show you how to use GoPro Studio to convert and export your footage into 3D. Our footage is shot using two GoPro Hero 4s in the dual housing case. So we'll open GoPro Studio, which is free with the free GoPro account. Click Import New Files. Here I've already got the footage from my two cameras split up into left and right, so it's easier to find. I'm going to remember the time is 47 seconds, so it's easier for me to tell which clip is the correct pair. So we right click and click on Find Pair. This opens up another screen. Now we go into Browse, and this brings our files back up. I'm going to go into the clips for the left camera. Now remember that the time was 47 seconds so I make sure that this is the correct matching clip for the right side. Now if you realize I imported the left first, you can always swap them down here. So now we need to add our clips to the conversion list. And what this does is it combines them for us so that when we edit them, they are overlapped and into one clip. So click Convert. Now this will take a little while, depending on how big your file is, how long your clip is, so I've just sped up a bit for this tutorial. If this pops up you can just click cancel, it just comes up when you open the program for the first time. So step two is editing. If you don't have any changes you want to make you can just skip right to step three. So under view I'm going to change it to red cyan because that's the type of 3D glasses that I'm working with. First, I'm going to go in and edit some of the framing elements. You can do a couple of things. You can zoom, you can adjust the positioning horizontal or vertical. So what I'm trying to do is uh, make my Lego pieces more centered and cut off some of the background uh, information. So here I've just adjusted the vertical, have it a bit more centered. I'm going to try playing it to see if anything gets cut off. Now I'm noticing that my hands are cut off a bit at the top there, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that I don't lose any information there. That's looking a little better now. It's important that you really play with this and get it right so that you can make the most of your video and that it's the most effective when viewing it in the 3D mode. So that's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to go in and adjust the 3D convergence. Now I suggest you go and put on your red blue 3D glasses so that you can actually see what the 3D looks like when you're doing the editing. So you can just adjust the sliders left and right and just see what looks the most natural when in the 3D glasses. You want to try and adjust it so that uh, the videos don't look too far apart or too close together so that they don't look 3D. So just keep playing with that. If you are viewing it for YouTube, you can go on a side by side, uh, make any changes you want there instead. Since I'm doing it for the red cyan, I'm just going to switch it back to there. Now we can go to step three, which is exporting our video. I'm just going to retitle it here, Lego 3D Video, and I'm also going to switch so that it gets saved onto the desktop just so I can find it quicker. Now you can export it a couple of different ways. 2D is just one channel, like a regular video. Side by side is for YouTube, and Red Cyan is what I'm interested in here. So I'm going to select that and go ahead and click export. Now this does take a little while so I have sped it up again for the tutorial. And there is my finished file on the desktop. Let's open it up in QuickTime and have a look. Now it looks pretty good to me. I think I'm gonna leave it as is. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.